And today on The Table with Mr. Rexu, let's talk about knives. Today we're gonna be talking about my collection of Topps knives. I own three, we'll call it three and a half because one's a smaller knife. So what we have here is the Topps Prather War Bowie. This is the sheet that it comes with. This is the factory sheet. And uh, notice it does come with a, a very nice whistle. I'll give it a, I'll sound it for you. So if that guy who was being chased by a cougar had that, he could have blown that whistle at that cougar and that cougar would have just run away. It's like, oh, it's so loud. So we notice that it does connect with the Molly system. So you strap this to a pack. Now let's go ahead and pull the knife out. So these are Velcro, uh, not a natural sound out in the wilderness. I'm telling you there's no Velcro uh, bug out there. Two Velcro retention straps. And this is the Prather War Bowie. It is very sharp. See the jumping on it? And on this knife, the swedge is not sharpened. Okay. And uh, please do note uh, the design I had lasered into this. This is from a company called Mo Guns. Mo Guns was gracious enough to let me use her logo to laser onto my beautiful knife. And it's gorgeous. I love this thing. Let's we'll set this down here. And there you go. There's my lanyard. Now you're like, Mr. Rexu, <clears throat> what can you put in this pouch? I suppose you could put in a small survival kit if you wanted to. Or what you can do is put another knife in there. This is the Tebow. Now you can put a dog chain, put dog tag chain through this and wear it as a neck knife. Okay, let's pop this out. So you, you stab the cougar with that this big knife and then you dress it out and you wear it as a war trophy with this one. Made in the USA. And you're like, Mr. Rexu, is that the same logo? on the T-Bow as on the Prather War Bowie? Well, well yes it is. Um, the problem is with the, the file that was used, uh, once I pinched it down so small, it didn't like it, and I wasn't able to get the 1776 out of it, but we were able to get that. So it's just a ghost of an image. And needless to say, this is also very, very sharp. So there is the Prather War Bowie with the T-Bow. Now we did have a piggyback system. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. And set it on the table like this. There you go. Now, I'm not a very big fan of the sheath. Um, the nylon, the Velcro, I'm not a big fan of it. So I went over to Red Hill Sheaths and I had an aftermarket sheath made, Odie Green, with a piggyback sheath on it, a nylon belt loop, and a ExoTac Nano XL fire starter on it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like with the aftermarket setup. Red Hill Sheaths does a lot of sheaths for tops. There you go. And there you go. So that is my aftermarket sheath for the Prather War Bowie and Tebow. So let's get into specifics.
This is a fixed blade with an overall length of 12.63 inches, a blade length of 7.25 inches, a blade uh, thickness <laughs> 0.250 with a Rockwell, uh, it's 1095C with a Rockwell of uh, 56 to 58. Blade finish, black attraction coating, black linen micarta handle. The handle style is called Rocky Mountain Tread, coming in at 14.4 ounces, weighing in at 19.2 ounces with the factory sheet. Mr. Rexu does not have a scale yet since, um, well, I don't have a scale yet. The sheath is included. The sheath that comes with the knife is black plastic nylon, molly backing, designer Jeff Prather. Jeff Prather, if you can hear my voice, thank you. Thank you so much. I love this thing. And uh, now let me also go over here and tell you about our good friend, the Tebow. The overall length on the Tebow is 6.5 inches. Blade length is 2.75. Blade thickness, 0.13. Blade material is 1095 with a 56 to 58 RC. It's a drop point, it's black, it's plain edge, and it's 3.75 inches for the handle. It is a beautiful setup. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about another knife. Our next knife is this. This is the top Wild Pig Hunter. So this was a special order, the Blackout Edition. Once again, we have another Red Hill Sheaths, aftermarket sheath. There's a fire starter there. The other one was an Exotac Nano XL. And now let's go over the specifics. This is a fixed blade coming in at 13 inches. Blade length is 7.5 inches. Blade thickness, 0.25. 1095 RC of 56 to 58. Black River Wash Blade Finish. Green Canvas Micarta. Well, that, mine is a blackout version. So you can get them with green canvas. Mine is a blackout, so it's a special edition. Weighing in at 14.2 ounces. Sheath included, yes it is. Um, mine came with uh, came with a leather sheath and I don't have that leather sheath anymore um, if you haven't noticed yet um, do I have sheaths that have leather yes I do uh, I prefer kydex uh, there are many camps and uh, I tend to side more with kydex and the designer is Leo Espinoza then from there we can come over to the fire starter the fire starter <laughs> piggyback comes from tops it's a uh, 3.13 inches long and 0.25 inches in diameter I'll pull that out for you so there is everything you need apparently to make a fire, the fire steel, the ferro rod, and I do need to add a lanyard to this. Nothing too overly crazy, just enough to get the job done. And it easily goes back into here. There you go. Only has one attachment point. If you wanted to, if you wanted to take the time, you could drill through here and add another drill point. I might just do it because, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea. So the interesting thing about the wild pig hunter is that there are actually people who will go out and hunt wild hogs because we have a huge 
wild hog problem here in the United States. And they will take dogs, they will armor them up with Kevlar, even though this isn't a guarantee that your dog won't get harmed, those dogs will chase down, corner, and latch onto a hog, and then the guys will come up, huffing and puffing, and then they will dispatch a hog with a knife similar to this. If you notice the, the penetrating design of the blade, it's great for penetrating the thick hide of a hog and taking out its uh, essential living part, so to speak. So that is something that you could use your wild pig hunter for. Or if you're out there shooting or doing bow and you shoot a hog and it's still, you know, screaming and kicking, uh, you can go over there and dispatch it with that knife. Okay, now let's go over and check out our other knife. So our next knife is the Topps Operator 7. Once again, we have the same fire starter as which is on the Wild Pig Hunter. Here's the handle. That is a fixed blade with a full tang. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is a special, you can customize these, so I had the camouflage pattern put onto it. This knife is a beast. You could baton this thing probably through Godzilla's uh, toenails. I figure if you could get him to stand still long enough with him destroying Tokyo or San Francisco. See the fuller. It does have this here, so you can choke up on it when you're over there cutting your fine delicates. Something tells me it would be fairly easy for you to take the scales off. And with these holes here, I would dare say you could turn this into a freaking spear. Man, I, I can only imagine that this has got, well, the handle has kind of like a, a hatchet-like feel to it. And goodness knows you could baton this sucker through a lot of wood. That's thick. So, this is, once again, a Red Hill sheath aftermarket. I do recommend Red Hill sheaths. You can go on to uh, his website, and he has a lot, and he does more than just tops, mind you, but he does have a lot, a wide selection of sheaths, and he does have some on hand. So, it's not like you have to send out your knife, per se. Uh, there are, is a good opportunity that he'll actually have it on hand and have it available for you to buy. Now, what I'm going to show you next is what the stock sheath looks like. So it's a dangler. And um, Mr. Exu is not a big fan of danglers. Some people like them. I don't. And as you can tell, pretty much everything I have, except for a, a few exceptions, uh, do not have danglers. So here it is. This is a fixed blade, needless to say. Let me state the Captain Obvious here with an overall length of 12 and a half inches. Blade length is 7.25 inches. The cutting edge is six and a half inches. The blade thickness comes in at 0 0.310 inches. It's 1075 steel with a Rockwell of 56 to 58. Uh, stock is acid rain. Of course, I had the, that's a finish, of course, acid, acid range. We're not talking about Los Angeles here. Um, the stock blade has like an acid rain finish. I opted for the camouflage finish. Mine is, of course, a blackout, but they do have a tan canvas black micarta G10. I have black, they have tan, of course. Uh, coming in at 18.9 ounces. Weight with sheath, stock sheath is 24.5. Sheath material is black hydex, a dangler, and once again we have Leo Espinoza. My problem is that my dangler broke. Uh, Mr. Rixer went over to pull out his knife very quickly, and unfortunately I had a sheath failure, so I called up uh, Red Hill Sheaths, I placed an order, and I got this. 
So here is the OP7. This is the stock sheet that came with the TOPS Operator 7. It broke, so that's why I got the new sheath. So here's the entire TOPS family. The Prather War Bowie, the T-Bow, the Wild Pig Hunter, and the TOPS Operator 7, OP7. Seven. Uh, great knives. Uh, once again, uh, I collect out of uh, a desire of what would I have carried when I was in the army? What would I have carried when I went into Iraq uh, during the Gulf War? And well, gee whiz, you know, if I had a time machine, I may uh, hand a couple of these to my young self. Uh, this is, of course, the time I ask you to please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me this evening, actually. And as always, have a nice day.